Hello everybody, it's Brent. Welcome back to my uh, Star Trek Online Let's Play. Um, we're right where we left off from the last video. In this video we're going to... Uh, I'm going to show you ESD, Earth Space Dock, which everyone calls just ESD. I'm going to first give you a tour around ESD, show you where everything's at, so you know who to, what, what people you need to talk to and what areas there are. Um, Earth Space Dock is real simple. If you hit M on, on your map, it's a circle. Um, so if you can't find where something's at, just walk around ESD, the entire circle, or go to the center, and you'll find it. Um, well, we're going to do that, and then I'm going to, going to equip my starship and my character and my bridge officers and show you how to do that and do some customizations. Um, right now we're in the Admiral's room and this is Quinn. He's basically your main contact starting off uh, for, uh, for most of your quests but th or your missions. There are uh, other people to talk to for missions as well. Um, if you go back around here, a lot of people miss this, if you go back around here to these stairs on this side and you walk down the stairs, you're gonna find um, uh, Sulu. Oh, he's back. Huh. Okay, they've moved, uh, they've moved, uh, that's, a, that's a shock to me. Winters used to be here. Samuel Winters used to be back here. Well, it looks like I found Sulu. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> there he is. So if anybody's got any questions about where Sulu is, just tell them Captain Sulu's right behind Quinn. <laughs> and that's actually the truth, because he's right there. And here's his glowing fish tank. Um, his uh, starship's on the wall. His big fish tank. I don't know what it is with captains and fish tanks, but or admirals and fish tanks, but uh, fish tanks are in ready rooms. But there you go. They like fish. Gotta have your fish, I guess. There's a fish right there. Why, why isn't she in the fish tank? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're gonna walk out of uh, the Admiral's room. This little area here is basically uh, a water fountain room. <laughs> I guess, I don't know what you call it. Water fountain room. Um, yeah, this is um, the secretary. Oftentimes on special events in this area, right here you'll find Q. Q will um, give you like special XP bonus rewards and stuff. Uh, he's on unique times when they have Things or events going on or whatever queue will be right here for the uh, in February for the um, uh, second or uh, for the anniversary that they have the the two year anniversary queue will be here he'll be in charge of that so you'll see that um, so here is if we go let's go clockwise if we go this way first of, first of all you can go in these areas this is the lower decks of earth space dock right now there's nothing there uh, but there's rooms there that they can attach you can attach to foundry missions or you know later on they may add things to if we go around this way this is the transporter room where you beamed in keep going around and we'll come to club 47 um, you can kind of hang out here do whatever there's earth back there um, this is the uh, requisitions area we just came into. Requisitions, uh, a lot goes on here that you will want to know about. The uh, tailor here, and it's uh, very appropriate that it's a Cardassian, uh, if you'll know from DS9. Um, so it's not the same one, but it is a Cardassian, so that's kind of cool. Cool throwback to that. Uh, the tailor here will let you customize your clothing. Like I said, we can change my clothing at any time. We can change my complete look and appearance. And that's always done at these tailors. You'll uh, recognize them by the big hologram. Uh, so you can go in any time and do that. You'll want to become uh, familiar with Ensign uh, Lessa here. Lessa can be used to uh, sell all your loot that you gain in missions or just anywhere in the game, any any loot that you want to sell for energy credits, EC, which is the one of the ways of buying things. EC is used to buy things from the exchange or to do other various things. Uh, she will give you EC for your loot or energy credits, so you can just do requisition personal equipment from her, 
just do anything, go to sell, and you could sell, like I could sell this um, generator here for 256 EC, which is not a lot, major components for 1000 EC, it's not a lot, but it adds up. So as you collect stuff during your missions, just come here and sell it, and eventually you'll start building EC. When you hit U on your keyboard, uh, it brings up your inventory, of course, and you can click on assets, and it shows how many energy credits you have. Right now I've got zero. Gold press Latin, zero. That's not used for too much in a game. There are some special things you can get for your ships, but it's not really a currency that will get you anything useful. Uh, dilithium, that's the uh, other, well, basically the main source of having things. For example, getting your starships and uh, doing other things. Dilithium. So dilithium and energy credits. That's what you want to look for, look at and get the most of. Um, with energy credits, we can go to the exchange and buy stuff. So, you know, we could sell things here I didn't need. Like, I can, I can go ahead and sell that. I don't need that. Um, I'm going to keep that. I'll sell my major components. Um, I'll keep my hull. Well, uh, let's see. If yeah, I, uh, I didn't have one right now. We'll go ahead and put that on the sh ship just so we don't lose it. <laughs> uh, weapons and battery, I'm going to sell that. Uh, I don't want that either. So that gives me um, a little bit of EC, not anything that I can do much with right now, but it'll start building up over time. Um, also, yeah, you can buy stuff armor too, of course. You can um, away team equ uh, weapons and equipment, and this stuff is uh, sold using EC. So if I wanted to get you know, a new weapon, I've now got uh, 1,956 EC, so I can buy uh, Mark 1 stuff because I'm a lieutenant. I can only get Mark 1 or 2 stuff, uh, and it jumps between Mark 1 and Mark 3. I can't get this one. It's not appropriate. It's for Lieutenant Commander. If you hover over there, it says Lieutenant Commander under the weapon. I can't get that yet. I can get um, these because I'm a lieutenant, but uh, that's just Mark 1. Mark 2 would be the better one if I could find Mark 2. Um, but you can get by phasers here, and pistols, phaser, wide beams, stuff, rifle type weapons, sniper rifles, uh, split beams, kind of stuff from her. So it's all common stuff. It's all white, which means it's common. There's no uh, modifiers to it. It's just basic equipment. If you were in a pinch and you needed something, uh, you can get it right here. Away team equipment, again, you can buy your, inner, your armor that you wear on your character. Um, energy, physical, utility armor, and your shields for your personal shields. Again, I can only get Mark 1 or 3 from her, and since I'm a lieutenant, that means I can only get Mark 1. Um, kits. Right now, I'm an engineer. You can only equip the kind of kit that you are, so I can't put science kits or tactical kits on because I'm neither of those careers, so engineering kits is all I can use. And um, again, I can only use what's appropriate for my level. But there are several different uh, flavors of kits that have different things on them. And so I, I don't like the one I have now, so I'm going to change it. Uh, but we'll look at that in a little bit. So those you, and consumables, you can buy your uh, large shield charge and uh, large hypos. Those are the two most important ones that you would be using in missions for your health and your shields to regenerate. Um, okay. And from this person, we uh, also sell stuff. Let's see, away team equipment, phaser. Yeah, this one is with dilithium. So you see here, this is green. This is uncommon stuff, so it's better. It has a modifier. Uh, this is blue. It's better. It has two modifiers. This is purple. It has three modifiers. And, um, and that's the difference between white, green, and, or white, green, purple, or white, green, <laughs> blue, and purple. The white stuff is common stuff. It has no modifier. It's just plain old whatever. Green stuff is uncommon. That has one modifier to it, like a critical chance or a critical uh, wh whatever, or like uh, damage or uh, kickback. Uh, that's just one modifier. A, a rare or blue would have two modifiers to it, um, like a, like you know, uh, it would have a critical chance and uh, damage uh, or uh, whatever, just two things on it. And then the purple will have three, like this one has damage times two and a kickback. So it will have, um, 
it, that's actually three, even though it's only showing two in brackets, it's damage times two, so that counts as two, so it's three total for the purple stuff. Purple stuff is the best stuff in the game. That's the stuff you want if you want it. But as you're leveling up, it's kind of a waste of money because you're going to change your stuff out at each rank anyway. Um, I would not shoot for getting purple stuff this early in the game. I would shoot for uncommon stuff and that will do really well all the way up until like captain when you or, or admiral when you want to start really decking your stuff out really good and it'll save you money too all right so this was requisite requisitions we're going to keep going around here and we come to the exchange area the exchange is where you buy and sell goods uh, like I, with Lessa, I was selling to to an NPC, so it's selling back to basically the computer. Um, but the exchange allows you to buy and sell between other players. It's it's what you would find like what would be called an auction house or whatever in some other MMOs. Uh, so the from here we can select my different things. Like uh, if I wanted to buy kits from here. And I can search just abroad. It's going to start with Mark One kits. I can uh, bring that in. I'm a lieutenant, and let's say I want uncommon. Then I can search that, and it's going to find all the lieutenant uncommon kits. And I can actually afford one of these. But then, of course, it might use most of my EC to do so. Um, and you can narrow it down further, like it's showing the science kits, engineering kits, science and tactical. I can narrow it down by typing engineer hit, uh, hitting search and that will only show all the engineering kits that are there and then I can go through and read what they have because these are uncommon uh, they're gonna have just a little bit more to them than a common would uh, and of course there are rare well not at this level but there will be at higher higher levels higher ranks there will be rare and very rare uh, uncommon is what you would want to shoot for at lieutenant and lieutenant commander uh, I would, I would not go about that, otherwise it's just a waste of money. Um, but you could even get by with common stuff, to be honest. The leveling is so much faster now in the game that, yeah, I mean, you could just stick with common and you actually you'd be probably alright through Lieutenant. This uh, area is the bank. This is where you would go to access your personal bank where you get to store stuff that's not in your inventory and that stays with you through the uh, entire game and it's just a way to store your stuff that's not in your inventory. Um, mail, this allows you to um, send to people uh, your stuff. Like I could go to the mail, I could um, go to compose and I could attach items here that I might want to send to somebody and I can send items to that person and you also have to come right back here to uh, take stuff that people have sent you all right let's keep moving I don't want this video to get too long so I want to get my ship and stuff set up uh, this area is you come here for promotions it's just a fun thing you can do we come right here to the personnel area. Um, this is where you will get your BO power, or bridge officer powers. Um, right here, you'll talk to Balt. That's one of your uh, little missions you have to do to find him. And then right here is where you select your bridge officer powers. Uh, and you can come right up to this person as the officer trainer. And um, you can train your officers in their powers that you want. You can retrain them at any time. And right now it's showing all of it. Like if I just want to do science space, I'm going to uncheck everything and it would show just the science space powers for ensign, lieutenant, and on and on and on. And I can train my officers uh, appropriately. I don't have a science officer right now. If I had a tactical officer, uh, tactical space, see, I could train to, uh, to carry and beam overload one. Uh, and you can hover over these and it'll give you a, a, a description of what it is. So, bridge officer trainer, very useful. You'll use him a lot. Um, right here is where you can requisition bridge officers for your ship if you can afford to buy them. And they are bought with dilithium, which I have none of. But you can buy them. These are just common bridge officers, whites, so there's no special stuff to them. They're just your basic thing. Uh, the special stuff here you ha you can you can buy 
uh, in a C store, and then you come here and buy your C store officers and stuff like that. And then we come to the uh, shipyard area that we're coming into. This is where they used to have a bunch of controls in here where you could do stuff, but now you have to go through the turbo lift door. And uh, come down here, and there's the Enterprise D. We can come down here, and you'll come to um, Lieutenant Laurel, and this is where you'll buy or upgrade your ships from. Uh, get a new starship, and then you'll get the uh, ship selector thingy. You can browse through all the ships, select your rank here, uh, Lieutenant, and now it shows only the Lieutenant ships, so I can change my ship. Uh, some of these are sea store items, uh, and you can go straight to the sea store to buy them. Some are bought through um, dilithium or whatever, so you just have to look at the requirements and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is where you buy shirts, and this is ships, and this is where we're gonna. This will be the first one we're gonna get. So let's go ahead and get it now, so we'll have it. Constitution cruiser. Let's see, it's gonna say it's free for me because I've already bought it in the C store, so it's not gonna take any uh, C points away. Uh, obviously, if you don't have the ship, you'll have to buy it from the C store. But I'm gonna claim it now, and um, now I have it. Successful, so it's in my um, it's in my ship thingy. So I've got that ship now, and I uh, can't buy it anymore because I already have it. And uh, but you can see there's the NX class, which I also have. You can buy that in the C store. This uh, this is a light science vessel. If you want to do that, this is a runabout. If you I, I don't know why you'd want to fly as a shuttle though. <laughs> Captain's Yacht. Class F shuttle. Yeah, I don't think you would want to start your gaming with that. <laughs> Delta class. Uh, a fighter. Basically, anything's better than what you start off with. I mean, uh, I've got, you got the Miranda, which I've got, you know, as your whole lieutenant ship, but I'm going to do the Constitution Cruiser as lieutenant. When I get to lieutenant commander, uh, get better ships. You get the, you get the, uh, this cruiser, the uh, basically the Enterprise A, you get uh, an escort or a science vessel, um, or the science vessel refit, or the cruiser refit, uh, and this is one I'm going to fly when we get there. Very nice ship. All right, but we'll come to that when we get there. Uh, Lieutenant Laurel, by the way, is not very nice to me. You know, I've asked her on several occasions if she'd like to go on a date. And each time, you know what? She just stands there and punches her keyboard, doesn't say a darn thing. She's kind of rude. Right here is your ship selections. That's where you'll select your primary ship. Right now, you can see this is the one I started off with. This is the ship I just uh, got. So this is the one I would uh, set as current after I pull all my junk off my other ship, hit U, and uh, go to my ship. I'm going to pull all this stuff off of my ship. And now I'm going to go... Uh, I don't think I have enough... Yes, I can rename it. The first rename is always free, so I'll just rename this whatever. And now my new ship, the Samsung, I have to exit out of this, got to do select ship. I'm going to do as set as current ship. Now that's my current ship. Now I can step away from this, from this, hit U, go to my ship, hit rename, and now I can rename it. First rename is free, costs more after that. And there we go. It's, it'll show up when I close that and open it again. It should show it and die quickly. And there's my ship. This ship is cool. It comes with an auto-leveling phaser beam on the front, on the uh, fore and aft. And that's very useful, so I won't actually have to upgrade my phasers along the way. And that'll save me some money along the way. Um, it, it, it helps at the lower levels. So I like that. It's just got a standard um, photon torpedo, and all I have is a standard one. So. I don't have any other better equipment right now to put on it, standard stuff, so I'll have to look when I put the hull on there. 
that gives me, uh, it's just a Mark 1 hull, but it's plus 2.5 um, kinetic damage and all energy resistance. So that'll be nice for my cruiser. And since I've got phasers, I'm going to put the phaser console here. That's point, plus 3.8% phaser damage. So I'm going to um, put that in my tactical, and that'll just help with the phasers. And, uh, cool. So that's kind of basically it. Right here, you click Customize Ship, and... Um, come to the ship customizer I can see my ship uh, rotated around uh, zoom in on it and um, I can change the look of it and right now it's just got one template which is the basic classic look I like that a lot um, change you could change the windows on it oh, it's only got one type on this one uh, the material just got the one type that's basically it um, if you click advanced usually you would have patterns and styles on this ship it's just very limited it's just a basic template for the uh, Constitution class ship, so we don't have to change anything. And um, that's basically it. My ship is like, it's there now. If I beamed up to space, it'd be there. Uh, I, I, all I have to do now is, you know, equip it better, um, which is uh, something I can do off screen. I can search for better equipment and stuff like that. and. Uh, uh, get some good stuff on it so I may, I may do uh, a lot of that off screen and then show you what I've done and what I put on it because I don't want to bore you with going through the whole thing of researching and looking and on the exchange and figuring stuff out like that because that'll just be too long so um, I'll do that off screen and set it all up and show you what I've done but basically now I've got my ship um, and I'll get some stuff for it deck it all out come back and show you guys that. Alright, so that's my ship. And as you see, we come back around and here we are back in the fountain room where we started. And then we'll go over here quickly to the um, middle of Earth Space Dock. There are th people you can talk to and things you can do here as well. Uh, one person you'll find very useful is the uh, Captain Retrainer or skill trainer right here, speak with skill trainer and you can uh, reskill, right now I don't have any skills set but um, you would come to him and respec or reskill and that will cost um, retrain tokens, you can buy them on the C store um, I, I'm not sure if you still get free ones with each rank, I think you might, I think gold players will I don't know about silver players, you'll have to check the matrix and stuff on the website and see um, what retraining tokens you get and so forth because I am not sure off the top of my head um, okay so now we're going to go do my character real quick let's see see I'm just using basic crappy stuff here and um, I've only got one officer I don't even have my skill set yet <laughs> I don't have anything assigned to my ship I one I, I want engineer problem is I don't have any money as you saw, I've only got, you know, that little bit of EC, so I don't have much money to buy stuff with. So I may have to go with all common stuff right now um, that I can actually afford. I don't think selling the stuff that came off my ship will actually get me any money. Usually doesn't. Yeah, I'm running in circles. I do this often. Circles are good. They're complete. They're whole. It's a circle. Uh, have I told you I'm crazy? If you haven't found out by now, you at least now know that I am completely bat crazy. We're going to go to sell and sell and I got two energy credits. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not getting much of anything, so that didn't help much, but close to 2,000, so I need to do some missions, and that will give me loot that I can sell and get some money. Uh, I want to go to the exchange here first and just uh, get my guy set up a little. Well, you know what, actually, forget that. I need bridge officers. I mean, I've only got one tactical, and my ship has room for an engineer and a science, all with ensign uh, stuff on them. And uh, I can only uh, get, well, I can get three more so I can have a full away team. So 
we can go to the exchange and we can look at bridge officers and see how much a see these the uncommon ones are too expensive can't afford that see how much a common one would be I mean even even a common one is too much for my blood they start at 2400 I can't afford any bridge officers off the exchange so completely limited there can't buy a can't buy anything that sucks I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start this game with like no bridge officers except my one and then <laughs> and then uh, sell a bunch of stuff to get some EC or whatever or do some missions that have bridge officers as rewards so that I can actually get some bridge officers that's a big problem right now this is generally how you guys will start off too I mean you're just gonna have what you have and it's not much starting off but it, you can get all your missions and stuff done I don't know why I ran all the way around this way this was the longest way to go I'm going over to the um, personnel lady and look at the bridge officers again just double check that I can't buy anything <sighs> yeah dilithium which I got nothing of so I'm absolutely stuck to Kara you're gonna be with me for a while <laughs> and you're gonna have no friends for a while luckily when you beam down they give you red shirts security officers um, as your the rest of your away team so you will have people with you but they're just basic and they just have phasers no special powers so it won't be the greatest thing on earth but at least you'll get people uh, with you on the ground and you won't be stuck with nobody so Takara is my tactical officer I am an engineer I want a better kit I want a better everything but I just don't have anything to get anything with um, first thing I want to look at bring this over here resize this I like to have all this side by side so I can do everything all at once uh, first thing I want to look at here is um, let's see if we can improve my weapon let's see if I can get a mark II weapon looking for personal weapons now the way to search for Mark II is you do MK2 uh, and I should get all the Mark II stuff showing, which it is. So I can't afford a common Mark II thing. The uncommons are uh, really not so bad. 195, those are stun pistols, so those aren't very good, or not what I would get. And it looks like it's all stun pistols for a while. That would just take too much of my money right now because Takara needs a weapon too. She's only using a standard phaser. So I'm going to pull all these weapons off of me. I'm going to get um, a phaser pulse wave. That's like a shotgun kind of weapon. I like that. That's cool. Um, high density beam. I like that a lot. And it's got a uh, it's got a repel on it as a secondary fire, which will be good for the Klingon. So I'm going to go for Phaser High Density Beam Rifle Mark II, and it's only 100 EC. I'll put that on myself. That'll give me a better weapon here to uh, start off the game with. And Takara, she could use something too. Uh, in Mark II, I'll give her a Pulse Wave, only 99 EC. That'll do her real nice. She'll have a a good weapon there to start off with. I'm gonna discard those. That'll give me a little. Oh, well, nothing. Um, she's got no armor and a standard shield. I've got no armor and a standard shield. So I'm gonna go and sell these. That'll give me a little bit of BC also. Uh, let's see. So let's search for a Mark II personal um, shield. That's only 200 EC. I can definitely afford that. We'll put on the Mark II shield. We'll get Takara a Mark II shield as well. That'll help us both out. You just drag it right onto it. Um, let's see, personal armor. 
energy dampening armor. Armor, perfect. Put that on. Um, these get start getting more expensive, and I'm gonna I will run out of EC. So, well, but we'll just go ahead and put an energy on her too, so we'll both have the same. Um, it shows the visuals of the armor. You can right click and click on disable visuals. No armor. Same for me. Right click, disable visuals, no armor. Now I got good shields, armor, and weapons starting off in the game. Now I want a good kit. want a good uh, Mark II engineering kit. That's a uh, Mark III. That won't work. must have sold theirs when they started the game. <laughs> uh, turret fabrication, not bad. That would give me a, a turret. However, combat goes pretty fast in this game. What I really want is um, a shield recharge. Not a shield generator. Shield recharge. That's what I want. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with for right now until I can uh, afford a better kit. I like that feature a lot for the, uh, this was the feature I was telling you guys about in the first videos. Um, if you see it right here, here it is, shield recharge. If I click it, it gives me a shield recharge, um, like if my shields are failing. So that will be really, really good to use for myself. You can also uh, click on your uh, bridge officer and give them a shield recharge as well. So if their shields are failing, you can click on them and hit that and it'll do that. So I got now a, a better kit starting off, better shield, armor, weapon. I have uh, Takara. She is now off to a better start. I, I Bridge officers I still need, um, but I'll get, I'll get that later. This was Torp High Yield. I don't want Torp High Yield on her. Uh, because I'm using beams, I really would like uh, beam overload or at least uh, tactical, the tactical instant thingy. So I'm going to go real quick to um, the uh, BO trainer, bridge officer BO, and uh, talk uh, and see if I can get uh, train her power differently here. Once I do that, I'm basically set with everything I can do at this point. And at that point, that will set me up to start the first mission. I won't do it in this video because that's getting too long, but in the next video we will start that. So we'll go to the uh, bridge officer trainer, uh, and I, she's a tactical, and I'm looking for her space power right now, and um, instant power because she's at the instant level. So, uh, and you can tell when you when you go to stations here, and you only got one block. First block is instant, and then you got uh, lieutenant and lieutenant commander, and then commander. So uh, all of these bridge officers would have lieutenant skill or uh, instant skills only. Um, I want either beam overload or tactical team one, and I am thinking I'm actually going to start with beam overload. Um, it's a good thing to have. I'll go to beam overload two later on, and then switch that out with tactical team for um, instant later on in the game. But I'm going to start with. Uh, an offensive power that I can use that will help me take down the enemies a little bit better, and that's beam overload. So, um, and I, I'm, gonna, I'm basically a, a beam, a beam ship. So I will go that, I will do train, and it's going to take uh, a lot of money, but I'm going to do it. L75 EC, it's not too much. Now I got beam overload. Okay. Now we want to skill it up. Go to Takara, uh, beam overload skill it up as much as I can and that's all I can do for right now on her power but that will help and uh, for ground she's got a photon grenade we'll just roll with it right now um, I'll look at my powers and stuff later see what path I want to take there but it's good enough to start the first few missions with no doubt um, let's see one thing I want to look at or my ship things I've got 
to see how much EC I got. I need to sell that stuff. I only got 386 EC, so not doing too hot there. I really want better shields on my ship and a better photon torpedo. But, oh, there's some lag. But that is not working out. Um, okay, so at this point, I've done basically all that I can do. I'm going to do some off-screen stuff after I stop recording this. I'm going to uh, look at the ship stuff uh, in the uh, exchange and I'm going to uh, just look around at other stuff. I may do some character changes to my uh, outfit and whatnot. And, all that stuff but before I go one one thing I did want to show you guys is how to set up your HUD or your trays and everything your power bars uh, well, I'm on the ground right now so it's showing my ground bar if I hit escape and go to rearrange HUD I can put these bars wherever I want I can move them around that shows you all the things that pop up like the interaction window I don't like it being right in my face in the middle of the screen so I move it over here to the right side so when it pops up I can uh, still see stuff on my screen, so I move that there. Um, the, these are fine for right now. You know, I can move stuff around as as we're doing things. Um, so, you know, we'll keep that for right now. Your power bar, uh, you can arrange all the buttons on here where you want them. If you hit P, right now it's unlocked, so I can move my buttons around. Um, it's got my primary fire, secondary fire, the palm strike my um, neural blast. I'm gonna uh, put my shield regen first. Actually what I'm gonna do is make this two rows for right now. Click uh, that little icon there and I can click two and make it two rows. Put my weapon fire down there and I'm gonna put my um, shield recharge there so I'll have that easily accessible. I'll put my neural blast there and this is for if my bridge officers die or whatever I can regenerate them. I'll put that way over there. And this is all the stuff that I can add to my power bar. I can add uh, that, which is that already there. That stuff is there. That's there. Shield recharge is there. And that's all I have right now. Lock the tray and close that. And now my tray is set. I can um, unquip my weapon. I can fire when I'm in battle. I can do my shield recharge. Um, holster that. Whatever I need to. In the next video, uh, I will show you guys the ship's power bar and how you can arrange that and also the uh, equipment I put on my ship and then we'll go into space and explore my ship a little bit and then start the first, we'll do the first mission in the next video. Um, until then, see you guys later. Have fun.